This galaxy painting was simple, fun, and really quick to paint. I'm Kirsty Rebecca, and I create drawing and painting tutorials that are easy to follow so that you can create realistic and professional artwork, even if you're just starting out. This is a super quick painting, but if you want to see a real time, full length tutorial where I talk you through every step of the process, then click on the link to my Patreon channel in the description. I'm using some scotch tape to tape my paper to my table, so that way it doesn't warp once we start to add the watercolour. You can use masking tape, washi tape, or whatever your preferred tape is, but it will allow the artwork to dry flat back into place once you've added the water to the painting. The paper that I'm using today is Fabriano cold pressed watercolour paper, which is a little bit more grainy than a hot pressed paper. But you could also use your favourite brand of paper in hot or cold pressed and it will still work with this technique. I'm starting by using a larger brush to apply some lighter blues to my surface and I'm doing a bit of a random pattern so that some areas have more paint than others just to give a bit of variety throughout the colours. With watercolour you want to work from light to dark so I'm starting out with those really light blues first. I've let my paper dry before going into the next layer where I'm starting to add a little bit of light green into some of those areas. And then I'm taking a slightly darker blue while my paper is still wet and I'm not covering the whole painting, I'm still keeping some of those lighter areas there for that variation. I'm now taking a damp brush and I'm coming through and lifting up some of the paint from the surface to reveal some of the lighter colours underneath for some variation. So you need to do this when the paint is wet so that the paintbrush picks up some of that watercolour. The great thing about painting a galaxy is that it doesn't have to be perfect. You can actually change what colours you use. So you don't have to use the greens that I used in this. You could use more turquoise or more purple if you wanted to and you can change up whereabouts your light and your dark areas are as well. I've let the painting dry again. And then I'm going to start coming through with a wet paintbrush to wet the entire painting before coming in with my watercolour. This technique is called the wet on wet technique. So the colour that I add to the wet paper will actually blend out and soften into the next colour and it looks a lot more smooth without the harsh edges. When you do wet paint on dry paper it's called the wet on dry technique and that will create harsher edges where your brush strokes are. So you can see that I'm adding quite dark colours here because it will become a little bit lighter once it dries. So again I've let my painting dry before coming into the next layer and I'm using a dark indigo blue and I'm really starting to darken up some areas of the painting quite a lot. I wanted to use the dark indigo blue rather than just going straight to black because I really like the colour combination that I've got here and I didn't want it to be too dark but I still wanted to have that sort of darker effect without it looking too flat. And you can keep layering like this, letting it dry between each layer until you're happy with how it looks. So I've let my painting dry one more time and then for the stars I'm going to use some white gouache. And if you don't know what gouache is, it's basically just an opaque watercolour. So it's compatible to use with watercolour, it's archival, you can layer the watercolour over the top of it or you can layer the gouache over the top of the watercolour. I'm going to use a toothbrush for this technique. I've just mixed in a little bit of water with my gouache just to make it a little bit easier. And then I've dipped my toothbrush in and I'm literally just using my thumb to run it across the bristles which will flick the paint onto the painting. So it will give you a variety of different size stars in a very random kind of pattern which looks a lot more natural than if you tried to paint them all in yourself. It's also a lot quicker to do it this way. You can also come through with a small paintbrush just to add a few bigger stars here and there as well. In the top left corner there is another watercolour tutorial showing you how I created this expressive flower. So click on that and I'll see you over there.